good ventilation in the sheds, the right amount of cattle on each pen, not overly crowded but not under stock, and then fresh feed every day. I feed all the cattle fresh every day, so there's a mi- fresh mix of feed, and that all depends what you're putting into the feed too. You need to have the best of the best qualities going on in front of you. Hello and welcome to the Beef Edge, the Chagas Beef Podcast, for all your latest news, information and advice for Irish beef farmers. I'm Catherine Egan and on this week's episode, I'm joined by Dairy Beef 500 farmer Gareth Peoples from County Donegal to discuss how he finishes stock on his farm and maximises performance. Gareth, you're very welcome. Can you give some background for listeners what beef system you operate? I'm operating a dairy calf to beef system, um, all steers, finished under two years of age. Just trying to make it as efficient as possible, and I suppose uh, with the the programs, a big help too. So it is. That's great. And what kind of calves are you sourcing, or how do you go about sourcing them? They'll be all Frisian, all Frisian bred calves. Um, an odd, a couple of Angus through it, but not too many, just uh, mostly Frisians, yeah. And are they a combination of bulls and heifers that you're buying, or just. No, all bulls, all bulls. And obviously, the management of them is very important. How do you manage the calves from once they arrive on the farm? Yeah, uh, once they arrive on the farm, hey, they're all um, they're all uh, vaccinated for pneumonia and uh, to be well managed for the first few days. Getting them moved from uh, whole milk with the other farmers onto uh, powdered um, milk and just uh, well monitored after that, depending on what they would need. And Gareth, can you talk through the management of the weanlings before they were housed? Aye, well, before they be housed, they be vaccinated with RSP and PA1. Um, and they be, uh, the backs be all clapped. And in general, uh, there's not a wide lot more they get done to them. Like they be, they be all dosed prior, way prior before coming in. And from a silage quality point of view, Gareth, it's key for every beef system, but for your system in particular, when you're looking for maximising performance over the winter, what kind of silage quality are you looking for on your farm? Oh, it's the best qu- top quality that I can possibly make, you know. So, um, we cut two cuts of two cuts from under the pit here to this year. The first cut was on about 16th of May, and the second cut was cut on the 6th or 7th of July. It's, it's, it'll be, it'll be, well, I haven't got my results back yet. I've taken the results or I've taken the test, but I haven't got the results back yet. But I'll be expecting to be some of the best silage we've ever cut, I would say, this year. That's great. And you've built a new shed. How will that help with housing over the winter, particularly with ventilation and space requirements for stock? It should be a great help. Yeah, yeah. There's a new shed up there. It'll be its second second winter now. And uh, the difference it made is unbelievable. Uh, just uh, every, all the livestock, the, the perfect space and have had no issues at all with any kind of pneumonia or anything. It's a very well built, very well ventilated shed and easy fed and easy access. So a big help. And for the weanlings that you've housed, you've also a tillage enterprise. What ration will the weanlings be fed over the winter? Uh, they'll be fed, uh, they'll be getting, uh, well, our, we grow our own barley and our own beet and our own good silage, so then they'll only be kind of tapped up, with, there'll, be a, there'll be a ration mix to uh, bring the protein levels up just for maybe a couple of kilos of concentrate per day in the weanlings. And in relation to the finishing stock, how will they be managed over the winter? How much ration are they getting? Uh, they'll be getting no more than seven kilos at any time, um, the bullocks. So they'll be built up slowly to seven kilos before finishing. Um, also the same thing, they'll be, they'll be using all their own. Then we'll buy a beef balancer then to mix our own. We'll buy a, a balancer just to mix our own barley, etc. through it. And how did last year's stock, how did they perform when they were finished out of the shed last spring? Uh, very happy with them. Um, I've no actual stats beside me here, but... Uh, no, our cattle done very well on slightly less meal than any previous year. Um, and uh, I like very similar widths and stuff to everything was killed last year. Averaging around 320 to 330 roughly there at under two year old, 23, 24 months max. Gareth, gaining as cheap a weight as possible over the winter is very important. What are you doing on your farm that other farmers could implement to maximise performance that you find important? Shed good ventilation in the sheds, the right amount of cattle on each pen, not overly crowded but not under um stocked, and then 
fresh, fresh feed every day. I, I, I feed all the cattle fresh every day. So there's a mi- fresh mix of feed. And that all depends what you're putting into the feed too. You need to have the best of the best qualities going on in front of them. And are you drafting cattle in according to weight when they come fit to finish or how are you pinning them accordingly in the shed? They would be penned coming in off the grass to be weighed the heaviest of, or like, you know, they'd be penned according to their weights at the start of the feeding. And then another, maybe there might be another change over then halfway through if there was ones doing slightly better, or slightly worse, you know, you would change it up again. But um, no, that, that's the way I would pen them. The bigger cattle will be fed, both slightly quicker to get away slightly quicker. That's great, Gareth. Thanks very much. Some great insight into your beef system. Thank you. That's all for this week's episode, and my thanks to Gareth for joining me on the show. You can catch up on all other shows and interviews from the Beef Edge podcast on the Chagas website at chagas.ie, or you can listen on Apple and Google Podcasts as well as Spotify. Don't forget to rate, review and subscribe so you never miss a show. For all other updates from our beef programme, keep an eye on our Twitter and Facebook pages. Until next time, I'm Catherine Egan, and thanks for listening.